Um, hi everyone, my name is Chantel Song Bembry. As Mrs. Bullock said before, I'm 14 years old. I'm going to be a sophomore at South Brunswick High School in South Brunswick, New Jersey. Um, my hobbies include playing tennis, you know, writing, reading, entrepreneurship, and that kind of thing. Um, I just want to congratulate all of you just on being entrepreneurs in the first place because I believe that there's so much opportunity out in the business world. There's so much money to make. And by taking the step into entrepreneurship, you're really showing a lot of initiative that you really want to have a good control of your future when you get older. So I am the author and illustrator of a children's book called The Honey Bunch Kids. I'm going to try to fit it into the screen here. Um, this is the cover of my book. Um, the Honey Bunch Kids is a great story about three African American kids. They're walking in the rain on the first day of school when they meet up with each other and miss their bu they, they miss their bus, so they meet up with each other and they start the sixth grade together. And I'll get into more about the book a little later, but I'm really trying to change the way children feel about reading through my book, The Honey Bunch Kids. So I'm going to tell you how entrepreneurship helps me in my life. Um, since I have a business, I use entrepreneurship to really promote my product. Um, I'm a stronger person because I'm able to take criticism. Because in the business world, there's always going to be criticism. So if you can take criticism, you can take anything. So just it helps me focus. It helps me be um, just a better person all around. It opens my eyes to a lot of new possibilities I can do in my future. And it can do the same thing for all of you if you just focus and believe in yourselves. Now, do any of you guys have a business? Because if you do have a business, I have a lot of tips for you all about how to be successful in the business world. So, um, in the business world, there are many steps to take in order to reach your goal or your desires. Goal setting is very key with a business. You can't just go from zero to a hundred in like a week. Well, you could, but it, you wouldn't be very successful because you didn't really take the time to sit down and plan out what you wanted to do. So. I have tips for you. My first tip is that you guys need to find a problem. Um, think of something in the marketplace that hasn't been touched, something people haven't seen before, and you should try to improve it or add on to it. Um, offer something to the public that you think would be new and fresh and like the next big thing, because everybody's waiting for the next thing to go crazy over. And I think you guys shouldn't be the people waiting. You guys should be the people creating it. So just be very creative and take that initiative and that drive. Um, another tip I have for you is to be different from your competitors. You have to always ask yourself when you have a business, how is mine different from theirs? You can't be the same as other people because nobody's going to notice you. You need to stand out in the marketplace so that you are noticed and people know who you are. Because in the business world, competition is everything. If we didn't have competition, nobody would be trying. So always compete. Um, another tip I have for you guys, find your why. Always ask yourself, why am I doing this in the first place? What am I trying to solve? Who am I trying to help? And what am I willing to gain or achieve when this whole process is over? You also need to find your target audience. With my book, my target audience is boys and girls ages 8 to 12. And then when you have a target audience, you are able to just you know, um, market your product better. You're able to focus. You can't just be all over 